How's it going Jeremiah's? It is now the end of the year and it is time to take stock of the best keyboards, the best digital piano as well as the best MIDI controller of the year that you can get for under $500. My subscribers and regular viewers will know by now that I am absolutely focused on getting the best bang for your buck and not about spending lots of money to get the latest cutting edge music instruments. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jeremy C and I have been a teacher as well as musician for the past 25 years. And in my channel, you can find more than 300 videos covering reviews of digital pianos, arranger keyboards, as well as lessons, tips, and tutorials. In this video and on this list, I will only talk about instruments that I have owned, I have bought them myself, or manufacturers have very kindly sent them to me to review on my channel, make videos about it, and they don't influence what I say. Smaller brands that are not so well known and not very well distributed will not be found in this list because there will usually be issues with after sales support as well as product warranty because these may not be so commonly found in all markets. And if you would like greater information on these keyboards, digital pianos and controllers that I've talked about in this video, I will be leaving links in the description and you can check out more detailed information as well as the updated pricing because these prices is correct at the time of filming this video but may change. The first category we have is the best value beginner keyboard and at 199 US dollars for a bundle package on Amazon, it includes your power supply, your X10 as well as your headphones. So the Casio CTX 700 is extremely well built and really best spec at this price. It has literally everything that a beginner will need for many years. This Casio CTX 700 comes with 61 full-size touch-sensitive keys as well as incorporating the latest AIX sound chip which is impressive and a big leap from the previous generation AHL sound chip from Casio which although alright didn't sound the best and the latest AIX sound chip corrects that. So the CTX 700 comes with 600 tones, many of them bread and butter sounds which are really dynamic sounding and is suitable for all kinds of genres of music. You also get 195 rhythms as well as 150 arpeggiators. On top of that, I love the fact that there is a dedicated piano and organ button so that when you're performing, you can very quickly just switch to a default piano sound or a default organ sound. You can also find pretty advanced features such as the ability to layer dual voices as well as split the sounds on the keyboard into two different sides. And for this price, you get a very decent six track recorder if you decide to do multi-track recording. And if you wanna save your different voices, rhythms, as well as effects for recall later on in future performances, there are 32 slots of registration memory for you to save all your user presets. And you get very flexible options for powering up this Casio CTX 700. You can power it either using the bundle DC adapter or via batteries. You can also find a USB MIDI jack for you to connect to your computer or your iPad or iPhone to run your digital audio workstation programs. There is also a headphones for you to plug in your headphones if you do not want to disturb your family members or your neighbors. And there is also an auxiliary in jack that you can plug in your mobile phones and stream music of that. There is also an option to connect a sustain pedal if you decide to play it more pianistically. So is the Casio CTX 700 the perfect keyboard? Nah, not really close to it, but not really. And there are two points that I don't really like. And first one is the ability to adjust individual volumes of the dual sound layers. And also the user interface of the Casio CTX series can really just be a little bit more intuitive and user-friendly. As of now, it is not the most user-friendly. Also, the user manual isn't the very best written. I have made an in-depth review of the Casio CTX 700 on my channel and I will put a link to the review over here as well as more information about this keyboard in the description below. 
The second category I have for you is the best easy to use beginner budget keyboard. It also goes for 199 US dollars and comes with a power supply, X stand, as well as headphones for you to get started. This is a 61 full size touch sensitive keys keyboard and is supposed Perply built and in my opinion this is a little bit better built than the Casio CTX 700 although it might not pack as much features and functions as the Casio CTX and you can find in the Yamaha PSR E363 Yamaha's iconic AWM sound sampling technology and because of this the acoustic instrument does sound sweeter than the competitor. And there is also a very convenient piano button for you to default to a standard piano sound. You can find 574 voices, 165 rhythms, although not as many as the Casio CTX series, but it definitely sounds a little sweeter and seems to my ears as better program. You can find the usual ports here for you to plug in a pair of headphones, a sustain pedal, as well as to plug in an auxiliary cable for you to stream music off your mobile devices. What I really like on the PSR E363 is that it comes with a USB audio interface. You heard that right, other than communicating USB MIDI data, this USB port also transmits audio data. And you can connect it directly to your door without an additional audio interface. And this is something which is not even found in very expensive Yamaha Arranger keyboards like the 5000 US dollars Genos for example. Mind blown? I have made a very in-depth review on the PSR E363 if you want to find out a lot more about this keyboard and I'll leave a link right here. In addition, I have left a link in my description where you can read more about it as well as find the latest updated price for the Yamaha PSR E363. One of the more requested comments I get on my channel is to talk about my favorite MIDI controller. And here we have one of the best beginner MIDI keyboard controller and that is the Akai MPK Mini Mark II. This doesn't have any sounds on its own as it is meant to control voices that you have on your door. However, this costs just 99 US dollars and it comes with 25 touch sensitive keys. In addition, you do get eight velocity sensitive drum pads that you can use to trigger any forms of samples or sounds you have on your computer. You also get eight different knobs that you can map to different parameters for modifying your L levels, your cutoffs, your different filters to modify your sounds on the fly. I also love the handy buttons where you can use to transpose as well as move to selected octaves up or down. You can also find a joystick where you can control your pitch and your modulation changes. And there is also a built-in arpeggiator, very useful if electronic dance music is your kind of thing. What I really love about this is that it is so super small, so super light and extremely portable. And it comes out of the box compatible with many DAWs out there. And because the Akai MPK Mini Mark II is USB bus powered, you don't have to put in any kind of batteries or plug in to any kind of power. Just plug in via USB to your computer, your laptop and you are good to go. What I really like at this price point of 99 US dollars is that the Akai MPK Mini 2 has the ability for you to plug in a sustain pedal and that is usually not found in a controller keyboard of this size and this price. If you like more information about the Akai MPK Mini Mark 2, you can find a link in the description. The next category is that of the best super portable beginner hybrid keyboard. So why do I call the Yamaha PSS A50 a hybrid keyboard? Because a usual MIDI controller doesn't come with onboard sounds. However, the Yamaha PSS 
A50 comes with a set of very decent MIDI controller specific features as well as onboard sounds and for a bonus you get onboard speakers as well that allows you to just carry this wherever you go to jam out little ideas as well as to sketch out creative riffs that you have in your head wherever you are. So MIDI controllers usually do not have onboard sounds neither do they have a built-in speaker. But at 99 US dollars, the Yamaha PSS A50 is really bursting with value. It comes with 37 high quality touch sensitive mini keys. And these mini keys come from Yamaha Reface keyboards, which can cost up to 500 US dollars. But you get them on this Yamaha PSS A50, which only costs 99 US dollars. On the Yamaha PSS A50, you get 40 different voices as well as two drum kits for you to jot out your musical ideas. You get loads of different arpeggiator patterns for you to mix and match as well as a whole bunch of effect control patterns that you can use to modify your phrases as well as your chords. And on this mini hybrid keyboard, you get a phrase recorder as well as a headphones jack that you can plug in and play anywhere without disturbing anyone. One of the features that I really like on this keyboard is that it runs off a USB power bank and you don't need to plug it to a wall plug if you don't want to. It also runs on batteries if that is your choice. I have made two very in-depth video reviews on the PSS A50 and I'll link it here. You can also find more information in the description below. So do check it out. Category number five, we have the best beginner keyboard for young children. But wait, this is not just made for young children because myself and a few of my students actually get this and put it by their bedside in their car boot, in their backpack, because it is just really useful as a practice tool. And it's just so cheap, you can carry it around and not be afraid that you would damage it. At 59 US dollars, the Yamaha Remy PSS E30 has 37 mini keys. And although these mini keys are not touch sensitive, they are of the same quality as those found on the PSS A50 as well as the $500 Yamaha Reface keyboards. And these keys being not touch sensitive is great for very young children because their finger muscles as well as their coordination is not as well developed. And on the Yamaha PSS E30 Remy, you can find 50 different voices as well as 28 rhythms that are from Yamaha's PSR E-Series keyboards, which cost literally three to 400% more than this keyboard. And they are really of a very decent quality at this price point. In fact, I love the fact that at $59, this is pretty much the cheapest arranger keyboards with very decent sounds that you can get at this price point. Included in this keyboard are also 30 very familiar children's tunes for young kids to sing and learn along with. And children can have fun and develop their musical years using the music quizzes that is built into this keyboard. There is also a headphones jack if the children want to practice quietly without disturbing those around them. And the Yamaha PSS E30 is so portable because it is powered by batteries or by a USB power bank and you can literally carry it everywhere. And this keyboard comes with child specific features and one of those that I like very much is the ability to limit the maximum volume on this keyboard. Children's ears are still developing so you want to protect their ears by not having them play the keyboard too loudly. I have made a very thorough in-depth review of the Yamaha PSS E30 keyboard, which I'll leave a link here. And I bought this keyboard with my own money and that is my unbiased independent review. Do check out the links in the description for more updated pricing as well as additional information. For category 6, let's talk about the best value beginner 88 weighted keys digital pianos. So do not be mistaken, those pianos which doesn't have weighted keys, for example, your Roland Gold piano, your Yamaha MP12, MP32, these are excluded from the list because we are talking about pianos 
with 88 weighted keys and they should also have graded touch or a scaled hammer action. And coming in at 490 US dollars, we have the Roland FP10. So this FP10 has 88 full size weighted and graded action piano keys, which means the keys feels heavier on the lower registers and gets lighter as you move towards the higher registers. This keyboard also supports half pedaling for more expressive piano playing. I also like the fact that there is string resonance, damper resonance, as well as key of resonance. These are the features found in significantly more expensive digital pianos. However, I don't really like that you are not able to control the amount of string resonance, damper resonance, or key of resonance, but at 490 US dollars, you know, I'm not complaining. And really at this price, the Roland FP10 has one of the best key touch and key feel and key bed. One of the biggest selling points of the Roland FP10 is at $490, you get one of the cheapest ticket to Roland's iconic and renowned Supernatural Piano Sound Engine. This piano comes with 15 different tones, although it might seem like there isn't a lot of tones or voices compared to the previous keyboards I've talked about, but these 15 tones are your bread and butter sounds. They have a variety of pianos, electric pianos, strings, as well as choirs, and really that is all you really need. In addition to the 15 sounds found on the Roland FP10, there are also 14 different rhythms for you to practice along with. At this price point, you get Bluetooth connectivity, usually not found from all the competitors' brand, and you can stream your music from your mobile devices to the built-in speakers. And what is surprising at this price point is that the Bluetooth not only transmit audio, it also transmit MIDI. So if you have a proper wireless Bluetooth MIDI setup, you can connect to your DAW, your laptop, your computer, without any wires in between. You can also find the usual headphones jack for quiet practice, as well as a sustained pedal input. These days, no digital piano is complete without an Android or iOS app, and you can find Roland's Piano Partner 2 to be a really capable app to go along with this keyboard. It is very well featured. One shortcoming of this app is that as at the time of filming this video, you are not able to control the 14 rhythms via the app quite unlike the other brands like for example Casio's Cordana app, you can control the rhythms on their digital pianos via their app. The other shortcoming you should know is that this piano is not battery operated. If that is something you're looking for, then this FP10 by Roland is not for you. You might want to look at the pianos by Casio, which can be powered off batteries. I have made a very in-depth digital piano comparison videos and I'll leave a link right here. You can also find the updated prices as well as any ongoing promotions in my description below. In category number seven, I will be talking about the best value performance oriented keyboard. So the Cork EK50 is branded as an entertainer keyboard and there is no mistaking that this is really good for playing live, for basking, for entertaining friends. At 361 US dollars on Amazon, this keyboard comes with 61 full-size touch sensitive keys. You can find more than 700 sounds jam-packed into the Cork EK50. And there are also 28 accompaniment rhythms that you can play along with. And if you update your Cork EK50 to the version 2.0 OS, there is the ability to load loads and loads of third party as well as user created rhythms from the PA series. At this price point, you get the ability to layer up to three different voices, which makes the voice really rich, thick and lush. And there is no keyboard at this price point which can do that. Cork's keyboards are a little different from those of Roland, Casio, as well as Yamaha, because Cork uses the concept of keyboard sets, where sounds has been set up for you, ready to start basking, start playing, start entertaining, where dynamic on the fly voice and rhythm changes are just needed. 
You can tell that this keyboard is inclined towards performance because you get proper quarter inch left right stereo outputs that you can connect to an external PA system. And at this price point, the Korg EK50 also supports half pedaling with the appropriate pedal as well as the addition of an expression pedal for you to play and control your organ voices more realistically. You can also store your different sound settings, your accompaniment settings as well as your different effect settings into 40 available registration slots for easy call-up when you are performing live. And the onboard built-in 12-track sequencer allow you to build really lush arrangements track by track. And you can find the usual headphones jack as well as a USB MIDI port for you to communicate with your DAW. I have made quite a number of very in-depth review on the features, functions and sounds of the EK50 and I'll leave a link right up here for your ease of reference. In addition, do check out the links in the description where you can find the updated prices as well as more information on the Entertainer Keyboard by Cork, the EK50. Which is the very best value arranger keyboard that you can get for under 500 US dollars? And that award goes to the Casio CTX 5000 at just 499 US dollars in a bundle package that includes the power adapter, a keyboard stand, a keyboard bench, as well as an online lessons package. This really is just massive value for money. Casio has decided to throw everything into this keyboard other than the kitchen sink. You can find 61 full-size touch sensitive keys and this keyboard comes with 64 notes of polyphony so you will not run out of notes when playing your music. This keyboard also has massive amount of tones. You get 800 different tones as well as 235 rhythms and there are really just a whole slew of tools that you can use to edit your tones, edit your rhythm, create your own rhythms from scratch as well. You also get pitch band and modulation controls to liven up your playing. What I don't really like about the Casio CTX 5000 is the lack of user friendliness. So it is not very user friendly to use, not the most intuitive because of its small LCD screen. So this keyboard is really feature packed and is best value for money. But you need to do the heavy lifting and to make sure you study the manual to figure out how to properly extract full value from this keyboard. It also doesn't help that the keyboard user manual isn't the most well written. So you might have to fumble around as well as watch lots of YouTube videos to learn how to use this keyboard. But this keyboard definitely comes with lots of features and functions which you can only find on keyboards many many times more expensive than this price. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't done so, leave a comment below. Tell me what is your favorite keyboard and why is it your favorite keyboard and make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you in my next one.